morning friends how's everyone doing today today we're getting around to some garden maintenance and also we're going to be planting my last wave of sunflowers and zinnias for cutting so the first thing we're going to do today is get some sunflowers and zinnias in the ground here i have a tray of pro cut plum and i've been lining the back of the main flower walk with these over the last few days so i have three flats to plant total and you can see that back here where I usually have all those peonies, I've cut the peonies back and I've surrounded the seating area with pro cut plum sunflowers. And I think that will be really beautiful just to have a wall of pro cuts to sit in and amongst. Then we'll just kind of weed as we go. So I have a lot of poke weed growing back here some lamb's quarters. So we'll pull all that out and kind of replace them with the pro cut plums as we go. I don't think I'm going to plant any pro cut plums on this side because this area just really does not get enough sun. Now, once we pass our garden statue here with the lady holding the flowers, I need to stake up these Bacardi dahlias. And if I have enough zinnias, I'm going to come in with orange zinnias right here. If not, we'll do more pro cut plums because I have, like I said, a lot of trays of pro cut plum. But what I want to do right here, since this is kind of our last time to just play around with cut flowers in front of the library, is to surround it with Benary Giant orange zinnias. So we're just going to swoop them around here, swoop them around here. And you can see I have the pro cut plums running along the side. I need to continue those back and around so that we see a lot less fence and we just see pro cut plums back there. So we're mainly going to be planting seedlings today and these will be my last cuts of the season. Today is August 20th, so these should be in bloom at the end of October and we usually don't get a first frost until the end of October. And sometimes we don't get a first frost until late November. There have been some years when we've almost reached Thanksgiving without receiving that first frost. So there is a chance that I might not see these flowers bloom, but it's worth it. I had the seeds on hand, I had the soil on hand. So the cost to me was almost zero dollars for what we're going to do today. And if we're able to sell and enjoy these flowers, I will certainly have recouped my very minimal investment. So without further ado, let's get to planting some cut flower seedlings for late fall flowers. Hey friends, it's almost an entire week after I shot that first portion of the video. Now, thankfully we sold out at the flower stand. I did have one person underpay. They only paid $8 instead of 20. That does sometimes happen every once in a while, but thankfully not too often. But you know what happens out in the garden? You start one project, you see another project you wanna tackle. There's beautiful weather 
and you just start to do one thing after another. So I have actually removed two of the raised beds from in front of the library and I've made a lot of progress redoing that area, but I'm gonna save that for a whole other video. But what I do wanna show you is what I got around to over in the driveway garden. Here's what I created over the last two days just this beautiful keyhole garden. The stone is double stacked bricks. I just picked those up at Lowe's. And then I just stopped by our local masonry supply, filled the whole thing with gravel, and here we have it. This boxwood has been here for a few years, so I might actually go ahead, continue that boxwood hedge until it meets Invincible Spirit 2. So we have about half a ton of gravel left and I was thinking to put it back over by the library because I was gonna order two tons for back there. But now I do have this hole here. So I could just continue this garden, continue the liriope, continue the repetition, or maybe I could put the gravel over here and create some kind of seating area. I'm not really sure, let me know what you think. Now I also do have a plum tree in the back that needs a new home, so I'm contemplating putting the plum here, but I'm not sure I want a fruit tree in here because having fruit trees in the landscape, that can be kind of messy to clean up. But if I put the plum here, then I could just move one of those little quick fires over into this hole. So let me know what you think about that. So it's a busy evening, but I'm just so glad I finally got this done. This is something that I saw in someone else's garden, and I will try to link their Instagram page. I think their name is Rose Mama, and she has an amazing keyhole garden with all white hydrangeas. It's just stunning. So friends, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend and I will see you for lots more videos where we are going to renovate the garden in front of the library in just a few days time. See you then. Bye friends.